What's the most amount of money that you've ever made in a week? What's the most amount of money you've ever made in a month? How about a year? Have you ever made a million dollars in a year? Have you ever made a hundred thousand dollars in a year? Have you ever made fifty thousand dollars in a year? Have you ever made twenty thousand dollars in a year? These are very important questions because in order to go from twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars in a year, that's a huge leap. And if you were if you if you've made twenty thousand, all of a sudden you go to a hundred thousand, that's a bigger leap. You know what? We have to get ready for more. We have to get ready for that. So here's what we do, and I'm talking. I'm going to talk about me this time. I'm not talking about you. We st we start sabotaging ourselves because we don't really believe that we're worth it. You know, so little things start to happen, like we start to be late for our appointments, or we start to forget appointments, or we become distracted when we're working with the clients, and we find reasons to have them not come back because we're making too much money, because we're not worth it. Now, believe me, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you about me. You know, when I was a kid, my dream was to make a dollar an hour. If I could only make a dollar an hour, I would be happy. And then by the time I was mm, 20, 19 or 20, I was making $2 an hour. That was 45 years ago. That was pretty good money, you know. My dream, if I could only make if I could make two dollars an hour, then I then I bought my first business. I bought my first real company. I'd had lots of companies. I'd laid brick and I'd done all kinds of handyman work and stuff. But I bought my first real company. It was a gas station. And that year, I made eighty thousand dollars, and I became very irresponsible. I became very irresponsible, and I started drinking and doing stupid stuff. You know why? Because I was sabotaging it. So I thought, well, but that's 80000 a year. And I thought, well, and then eventually I got to where I was making 100000 a year. And then I got into the massage business and it went off the charts. You know why? Because I loved it. You know, I mean, I made a living teaching Pilates. I made a fortune doing massage. And pretty soon I was not doing all the little things I used to do. Like, you know, it's, I mean, it's really important to, after every client got up, I would have a glass of juice for them and a glass of water. Little stuff. Because I want to get a little more sugar, little sugar into their system and then, then get, wash out some of those toxins. And I stopped doing that stuff. You see, when I was in the practice, I had two massage rooms side by side. And I would go from here to there to here to there all day long. And while one person was getting up and, and getting off the table, the next person was getting on the table and getting ready. And it got so good, I couldn't hardly stand it. I couldn't hardly stand it. And, and you know, it was just an amazing process. But then I started sabotaging it. Well, I looked around me. And at one time, I had 76 people working out of my office on Connecticut Avenue. 76 of them. And so I had this rule. If you were late for a client, they got a free massage. You didn't get paid. And if you were late twice, you never came back. I don't care what the excuse was. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Because I knew what it was. It was self-sabotage. Sabotage themselves. I watched some phenomenal massage professionals completely destroy their practices, just doing things that were just unheard of. Sleeping with their clients. You don't do that. You know. You don't even get in a relationship with a client. If you, if you want to get in a relationship, you get away from there and stop having them for a client. Then you can do whatever you want to. That's, it's not appropriate to have relationships with clients. But I watch people destroy their practices after that, after that stuff. So I want you to think about this. Because we all do it. I do it. You, everybody does it. You know, everybody does it. I mean, you go from 100000 a year to a million dollars a year. Think that's a big jump? It's a huge jump. Well, when you get to the million a year, you start sabotaging it again. I haven't, I've, I haven't seen $10 million a year yet, but I'd like to one day. But I'm sure it's going to be sabotage all over again. Because we're not worth it to ourselves. So we have to grow into that. So I want you to think about this self-sabotage stuff. It's really important. Even in relationships. You know, when things get too good at home, you have a fuss with your, with your mate. Cut it out. 
It's self-sabotage. It's gotten too good. You know, the truth is it should be that good all the time. You know, I'm a newlywed. My wife and I got married G July 27th. She's Chinese, and she's in China now. We're working towards getting her papers to get her into the U.S. And she told me, she said, well, her, her first husband died of an aneurysm. He was 34 years old. So left her with a baby. A little. She's now, she just turned six. So I have a, now I have a new daughter, six. But my wife said to me, my husband and I always argued. I said, I will never argue with you. I will never argue with you. She said, yes, you will, but I won't. You know why I won't argue with her? Because I want to hug her and love her and kiss her. And if I argue with her, you think she's going to want to kiss me and love me? She won't want to do that. So even in relationships, we've got to be careful. You know, we don't want to scream at our children. I don't yell at my kids. If I have to raise my voice, it's because I haven't said one, two, three. Because my kids are trained. If daddy says one, I never get to three. Because three, they, ha they have to get a spanking. I haven't spanked my kids for years. You know why? Because they understand one, two. I have to say, ah, blah, 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 blah. I have to do that stuff. Think about that. Do not sabotage your business and do not sabotage your relationships because you're really important to somebody else.